What's up everybody? First let me apologize for the sound of my voice. I was losing my voice a few days ago, um, but now I feel better. I'm feeling good enough to make this video. And today we're going to be talking about what is insulin. You know, when it comes to insulin, a lot of people associate insulin with diabetes. And they're not wrong, but the thing is though, um, insulin is something more than that. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to dive right into my iPad and we're going to look it up ourselves. And you're going to come on the journey with me. I'm just going to read everything off to you. Okay guys, when it comes to information, I like to go to a credible source. This means I like to go to a place that specializes in the information I'm looking for. So for this topic specifically, I'm going to the ADA, the American Diabetes Association, and their website is diabetes.org, and that's where I begin my information from. Okay guys, so we're starting off with insulin is a naturally occurring hormone secreted by the pancreas. Many people with diabetes are prescribed with insulin either because their bodies do not produce insulin, type 1 diabetes or do not use insulin properly, type 2 diabetes. There are more than 20 types of insulin sold in the United States. These insulins differ in how they are made, how they work in the body, and how much they cost. Your doctor will help you find the right type of insulin for your health needs and your lifestyle. Now it's kind of crazy because I didn't know there were so many types of insulin when I was working in the health field. And the reason for that is as a CNA, we are not legally allowed to give medication to patients. Only nurses are able to, or even doctors. I wasn't familiar with a lot of the different medications that our patients were getting, if it was a different type of insulin. Now some of the medications I was familiar with because I asked questions and I learned, but something like this, I didn't really have no idea it was more than one type. So right now we're gonna dive into insulin basics. And basically what they're saying is, there are different types of insulin depending on how quickly they work, when they peak and how long they last. Insulin is available in different strengths. The most common is U100. All insulin available in the United States is manufactured in a laboratory, but animal insulin can still be imported for personal use. You know, that's crazy because um, I didn't know animal insulin actually existed, and I know that we can actually take it. That's kind of interesting, and you know, I'm actually going to look that up in my private time because I want to know a little bit more about that, and I want to know if animal insulin actually benefit humans. Inside the pancreas, beta cells make the hormone insulin. With each meal, beta cells release insulin to help the body use or store blood glucose it gets from food. Now this is important because they say every time we eat a meal, our blood sugar do spike. So our pancreas, like I said, uh, produce beta cells, which produce the hormone insulin. And what this does is it help keep, it help keep our blood sugar in check and also make sure our body is using it properly. This is why you see type one diabetics right after they eat, they have to um, inject themselves with insulin because their body or their pancreas it's no longer producing what they need for the body to use this food properly. People with type 2 diabetes make insulin, but their bodies don't respond well to it. Some people with type 2 diabetes need diabetes pills or insulin shots to help their body use glucose for energy. Now what they're saying is that as a type 2 diabetic, you're still producing insulin, but your body is just not using it right. So sometimes you have to take insulin from an outside source to help your body use this glucose properly. Insulin cannot be taken as pills because it would be broken down during digestion just like protein in food. It must be injected into the fat under your skin for it to get to your blood. In some rare cases, insulin can lead to an allergic reaction at the injection site. Talk to your doctor if you believe you may be experiencing a reaction. Okay, and another thing is pre-mixed insulin can be helpful for people who have trouble drawing up insulin out of two bottles and reading the correct directions and dosages. It's also useful for those who have poor eyesight or dexterity, and it's convenient for people whose diabetes has been stabilized on this combination. Now this is another thing I didn't know, that you can actually um, mix two different types of insulin, as long as you're using it in the correct way. All insulins come dissolved or suspended in liquids. The standard and most commonly used strength in the United States is U100, which means it has 100 units of insulin per millimeter of fluid. The U500 insulin is available for patients who are extremely insulin resistant. This means that if the regular dose of insulin isn't working for you, then you have to go to a stronger dose, which is U500. Okay guys, like I just said, if you need insulin, then you have to inject yourself with it. Um, when I was in ER last year, um, I actually had to receive two different types of insulin. This is because my blood sugar was so high, and um, pretty much when they gave me the insulin, um, my blood sugar came down immediately. I was only in ER for like 10 hours, but after that, I didn't have to take another dose. So right now I'm going to show you um, how to inject yourself with insulin. So after you take your blood sugar, there is a thing called the sliding scale. Now what the sliding scale is, um, whatever your blood sugar number is, that dictates the amount of insulin you get. So once you fill your syringe up with insulin, I know this is a pencil. What you'll do is um, you'll just grab a portion of your fat. You can do right here on your stomach or you can do on your love handles, don't really matter. And really you just take your syringe, 
you know, just not really jab yourself with it, but just, you know, put it in there kind of fast. And then you start um, letting the insulin um, enter your body. Now, what this may cause is like a slight burn sensation or, um, or you know, just a slight sting and pain. And sometimes you will have a bruise from the injection site. As of now, this is the best way to um, actually um, give yourself insulin um, if you have to um, do it through a syringe. Okay, guys, now here's a little disclaimer. If you are not in a medical condition where you need to use insulin, please do not use it. There are times where you have some pro bodybuilders who use insulin to help with their muscle growth. But in reality, all they're doing is just breaking down their body more. They're shortening their lives by giving themselves a medication that their body do not need. Before taking some, you should always check with your doctor. Seek medical help from a medical professional. If your friends or people who are telling you medical advice are not doctors or they never practice medicine in any way, shape, or form, please do not listen to them because in most times, Google is not your friend. Anytime you look something up based on the symptoms you have, a lot of times it come back as cancer <laughs> or it may come back as something else. So that's all for today. Uh, what I'd like for you guys to do is leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to know anything, just leave a comment down below. As I always say, you know, I'm building this community where not only I can benefit from it, but you can also benefit from it as well. I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.